Hi everyone, it's Amelia here. We've come up to Glenmore Lodge in the Cairngorms to learn more about the amazing courses that they put on and the equipment they use. We're staying the night tonight and then we're heading out in the hills tomorrow. Here's my room. Very nice. There's me. Nice we then headed downstairs to the dining hall and had a delicious meal before turning in for the night. Hi everyone, it's the next morning. I slept really well and we're about to head downstairs to have some breakfast and pick up our pack lunches. Quite a nice day, I guess. So I'm here with Swifty, who's going to be our instructor for today. I don't know if you can tell me a bit about what you do here and what we're going to do today. Okay, so I'm Swifty and I'm a freelance instructor here. I mainly work here during the winter. Uh, and today we're going to um, do some planning, look at what we carry in our bag, maybe get some stuff from stores if we need to, and then we're going to go out on the hill and look at boots, crampons and axes. So I think if we head upstairs, we can look at some planning first. Cool. Okay, so in the evening before a day out on the hill, I usually check the weather forecast and then the next morning I check it again just in case things have changed. And the kind of places I look are the Met Office, the Mountain Weather Information Service and the Scottish Avalanche Information Service. Today, the wind, we've got like really strong winds from the southwest and they do drop off a little bit later. We've got a little bit of rain. Uh, may, and maybe snow. So that's kind of thinking about what layers we want to wear. Mm -hmm. And often in Scotland, I may start my waterproofs on straight away because you're walking through rain into yeah. the snow because we start at lower elevation. Down the bottom here, it tells you how cold it is at 900 meters. So it says zero degrees, but with those strong winds, that's going to feel really cold. So having a, a big jacket on mm -hmm. um, would really help if you had to be stood around for any period of time. So that's the kind of wind and weather. We know it's coming from the southwest and then we know that it's been snowing over the last couple of days and all that snow is getting pushed over to the lee side of the slope so if we look on here on this compass rose here and it's got like green all the way around here and then at 900 meters it's got a yellow there so that's a moderate hazard on uh, these aspects above 900 meters that gives us an area where we may want to have like a key place. So a key place is where you stop and regroup. That's correct, yeah. And what we need to know from the forecast is here where it tells you what the hazards are. With what we want to achieve today, we can mitigate that risk by going on something that's west, west facing, mm -hmm. so we won't have those hazards. So where are we going to go today, So do you think? today, I think with the strong winds, we don't want to go up high too much. Mm -hmm. So what we can do is come to this car park low down and we can journey up through this kind of burn line and then you've got like a little stream line up here which is um, like a gully and that's collected snow. We can go there and we can look at how we use our boots within the snow, our ice axe and then our crampons and do a little journey up there using boots, axe and crampons. Does that that's make good. sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay so what we'll do is um, I'm just going to go through what I'm carrying in my bag mm -hmm. and then we can talk about what you're carrying in your bag and then if we need to get some stuff from stores we can do that. I generally carry a like a, a kind of 35 to 40 litre bag and, and then one that's kind of robust. So in the top of my bag generally is my crampons um, and they're kind of ready to go just in case we come across some icy ground on the way in. And then what I'll do is inside I've got a waterproof bag mm -hmm. because we're in Scotland and everything gets wet. So then I'll have um, some food and that's got my sandwiches in it and I've got a drink then I've got a bag, waterproof bag, and in here I've got spare gloves and goggles. Um, and it's waterproof separately because if that leaks, then that's going to stay dry. Mm -hmm. Here's my layers, my warm layers. So in here, in another waterproof bag, I have my warm layers. And then that holds what I have to hand is my, my kind of duvet jacket. And, um, and then if it all gets really kind of windy and wet, I can just whack that on if I need to, to keep warm. And mm -hmm. that'll just, you want it big enough that it goes over everything. everything. 
Okay. Yep. And that's in a waterproof bag with your, any other layers that you may have. And then in the, in the bag, what I've got is a group shelter because in the group, if somebody twists an ankle or we want some shelter for having mm -hmm. lunch, we can jump in the group, group shelter. I carry a, a emergency blizzard bag and a waterproof first aid kit. So that's what I carry in my bag. You, do you carry anything similar or do you carry a lot different? I carry probably a variation of similar. <laughs> yeah. I can show you. We, I don't have a first aid kit. No, that's fine. So generally we'll have a first aid kit in a group shelter within a group. Okay. So if you go out with your friends, mm -hmm. it's always good to check who's carrying a first aid kit, who's going to a group shelter. And obviously with that, we want some form of communication. So I've got, yeah, okay. got a mobile phone. And then in, in my little pocket here, in another waterproof bag, I've got uh, a head torch and a spare battery to charge my phone. So how many times have you used these crampons? Once. Right, okay, so are you happy fitting them? Um, I think so. Okay, so a few, few tips when, oh, nice and sharp. Yeah. A few tips when you're um, fitting your crampons is you don't need to uh, adjust these every time you, you fit them. So they should be fit to your boots. So when you place it down like that, and when we're out, we'll, I'll show you some tips of how to put them on. And firm toe in there, this bit here where this sits here is mm -hmm. really key. So they sit nice and snug. And when you put this on, you should hear an audible click. So that, look, that sounds really good, doesn't it? And obviously that fits quite well. And what you can do there, without doing the strap up, you should be able to shake it okay. and the boot shouldn't fit out. So we know that's fitting, fitting well. This strap here, you know, they're because they're really adjustable. They they can go on. They have gone really big boots. Mm -hmm. What we want to do is maybe cut the strap and melt yeah. the end so it doesn't. That fray. is something. The first time I wore them, it was kind of all yeah. wrapped around, which didn't feel. Very yeah. Nice. So what that becomes, that becomes a bit of a trip hazard. Yeah. And we don't want to trip over. So I would say that's a quite a good, um, good fitting cramp on there, and um, and hopefully we'll get out to use that today. Okay, so that was really interesting. Swifty's taken us through his bag and then he's just looked through mine, which has been really good. Um, and I think I'll need to grab a belay jacket from downstairs. Glenmore Lodge and Rab have a long-term partnership which aims to make the outdoors a more sustainable and inclusive space. Rab provides kit to instructors and participants, ensuring that everyone is prepared to take on the changeable Scottish conditions. Okay, so we've got all our kit from the stores. Um, and the store's got loads of different kit if you ever come up here and you need a bit of extra kit. Okay. Just asking the stores are really helpful. We'll get that, we'll get that put in your bag and then we'll head out into the hills. Cool, let's go. So we're here at the low car park. We're gonna head up through these uh, gully lines and up that ribbon of snow there. And then that's where we're gonna do our like cramponing and ice axe stuff cool. there. Okay, we ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay, Amelia, what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk on this firm bit of snow, we'll use that as our next little classroom. Um, sometimes it's really good to have a helmet on before you step onto some slidey stuff, just in case you slip over. And we've got people working above us. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna look at what our tools, and our tools for today are our ice axe and our boots. And then we'll progress during the day. Where it's slidey like this and our feet will slip, I'm gonna use the edge of my boot to kick a ledge. So when I'm walking, I'll plant my ice axe in, kick a ledge, put my foot on it, kick a ledge, put my foot on it. And what I'm aiming it for is my foot is horizontal. So when I stand on the ledge, it's like a lovely little platform for me to stand on. If the snow gets a bit firmer and we can't do that, what we can do is use our ice axe to cut a step. And all we want to do is swing from the elbow and slice a bit of ground like that. And we can kick into it and then step up. Sorry. It's all right. 
If it's a bigger section or we've got a longer journey on that kind of ground, sometimes quicker just to get our crampons on and we know we're safe. So like before, put a foot in, toe right in, audible click, and then what we want to do is tighten our crampon up and then any excess we can just tuck it away. Now we've got our crampons on, we're going to see how we can use them to the most efficiency. So with our ice axe in our uphill hand, what we want to do is walk and we want to get all the crampon points in the snow as much as possible. So what we do is put the foot down and then rotate it so all the crampon points go in. That's it, good rotation of the ankle. That's really good. If we're coming down, we can either swap our feet over gently, like this. Some people find that difficult, so what you can do is just step down like this on your kind of descent, whatever you feel more comfortable with. Yep. So we've covered some basic skills there. Are you happy to put that into a journey? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, cool. What we'll do is grab our bags and then we'll journey up through this gully line, okay? Cool. Okay, Amelia, you've just had a, um, a quick insight to winter skills. Your first time with crampons, how was it? Really enjoyed it. I definitely want to come back for a winter skills course. I feel like I learnt lots there, but there's so much more that I want to learn and practice. Yeah, cool. Well, you were really good, really confident on your, uh, your crampons. If we finish it there, we can head back, uh, have a cup of tea and have a little debrief. Cool. Okay, Amelia, how do you find your day? Absolutely loved it. Thank you for taking me. I feel like I've now got a nice base of skills. If I am on the hill by myself and I come across a patch of snow that's a bit slippy, I can put my crampons on and get across safely, which is amazing. Yeah, I think that's what these courses are tailored for, is to become a, more of an independent hill walker. And I think you've, you've achieved that today. Thanks again, Swifty and Glenmore Lodge for having us. I've had so much fun and learned so much. If you'd like to learn more about the courses Glenmore Lodge have on offer, head to glenmorelodge.org.uk.